Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you one of the greatest motivational tools that will get your employees working in the history of mankind. Before I do so, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Slices Concession, seller of used near new equipment, whole stores, great people. Evan out here on the West Coast, you've got Chino down here in Florida. Uh, it's all happening. So uh, go onto their website. It's very convenient. The link is right down below. Click on it, have a look at their inventory. One thing I will tell you is that if you see a machine on there that you like, a lot of these machines move very quickly. So have the cashola, click on the link, tell them that Steve sent you. Okay, so we've done videos here before in relation to how to get employees to work and to basically uh, transform your list, if it were, into something that's a little bit more accountable. We spoke about uh, accountability and systems. In fact, Madeline's gonna link that video down below. And every time I say, oh, oh and Madeline's gonna do this, and Madeline's do that, she probably sits behind and goes, oh geez, more work in editing. Look, just do it. Okay, so it's great having a list uh, and there should be some accountability, but sometimes that isn't enough. Uh, let me tell you something that I heard a very long time ago and uh, I don't even know where I got it from. So if you're listening to this and you're saying, hey, that's my idea, uh, then I credit you. So we used to keep a toothbrush uh, somewhere in the store, somewhere quite visible. And uh, I used to walk into the store and uh, you'd have a bunch of high school kids kind of talking, you know, some serving customers, maybe one with a broom over here. Nothing much is happening. And I would say, uh, hey, you guys got something to do? And three quarters of them would say, uh, yeah, and there'd be that one kid, usually the, the pimple-faced 16-year-old boy. And he would often say, no, I, I kind of don't have anything to do. Shing! Okay, so you're gonna take this toothbrush and you're gonna go out the front of the store with a small bucket of water and I want you to scrub that red bench out there down with this toothbrush, please. And they look at you like, what? Yes, that's what I want you to do. I want you to take this toothbrush this little bucket of water and I want you to go out and scrub down that uh, red bench for me. So he takes the bucket of water and the uh, toothbrush and he walks out to clean the bench. <laughs> now, the reason why the toothbrush works is the next time you walk in and you say, hey, uh, a lot of standing around here chit-chatting. Has everyone got something to do? Everyone scrambles like cockroaches when the light goes on. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm mopping over here. Oh, I've got this broom. I'm, I'm just taking down cobwebs. Uh, I'm mixing things. I'm mixing things over here. I'm cleaning something. I'm telling you what, the toothbrush is one of the greatest motivators you'll ever have. Now, that was a few years ago and in this day and age of sensitivity, you may have a child go back and say, well, Mr. C made me clean a bench with a toothbrush. Well within the job description, as far as I'm concerned, check with your state labor department to see whether you can actually have someone clean a bench with a toothbrush. Yes, it's come to that. But the thing is, what you're trying to do is motivate your employees to keep busy. And this might be that one icon, that one reminder. Uh, for us, it's like the gray stick that my grandparents used to keep on the shelf behind the sugar containers. Anyway, uh, keep it up somewhere, <laughs> somewhere nice and visible. You may find that you'll only have to do that once. Every time a new employee comes on and they're being uh, basically orientated or trained, uh, your, the trainer might say, hey, by the way, you don't want to have to use that uh, 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 toothbrush there. So whenever Mr. C comes in, always look busy. Look, you should be busy all the time. That's what I'm saying is you're teaching the principle that there's got to be some accountability and everyone's got to stay busy. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Okay, so you can use this or a similar motivational tool. Let us know what you use to keep your crew busy. Uh, we'd love to hear. We love hearing from people who own ice cream shops, their comments, uh, some of their experiences. And look, you may have a problem of your own, perhaps a, a mana manata or a conundrum that you have that we can solve for you. Leave it down in the comments. We read them all. Thank you again for our episode sponsor, Slices Concession, and if you would like like us uh, to help you in your ice cream training, in your consulting, perhaps look at your store and see if we can make it more efficient and more profitable for you, drop us a line, info at scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.